there is just something about a clean, organized fridge that just makes everything better. Don't you agree? I'm Melanie Ferguson and welcome to my channel. I'm going to try to inspire you by showing you what I did, some tips and simple tricks to get your refrigerator in tip top shape. First thing you're going to do is empty every single thing. I know this sounds obvious, but it is not always easy. So empty it, clean it out, get all the shelves clean. And once it's cleaned out thoroughly, add yourself a box of baking soda. This will collect all of the smells. And I actually use two of these in my refrigerator. Just kind of tuck them in the back out of sight, out of mind. Then I added these little shelf liners. They are super handy. You can cut them to fit the shelves. And I love how they can collect any spills and keep everything clean. Using my Cricut, I created these little labels that I put on each of the doors on my refrigerator. Now, I will link all of these below so that you can use the templates. But this one was just for jams. I made one here for condiments. Your families might be completely different from mine, but I have one for dressings. We always have a ton of different dressings going on here. And then I used one to organize all of the sauces. So this was the spaghetti sauce, the Alfredo sauce and the hot sauce, my favorite. We have an actual container place for pickles too. So we like all sorts of pickled things. I grabbed this little clear plastic basket and added it to the side of my fridge with the suction cups to put all of the cheeses in. So if you followed me for a while, you know how much I love my Starbucks cold brew and this little clear plastic container with the label was the perfect place to keep them all in plain sight. My husband and my son drink tons of Coke through Throughout the day so I love having them all in one place here you can see how many we have and it also keeps them from being opened and placed wherever they want in the refrigerator now I grabbed this container for my eggs I it's an 18 count and we actually use every square inch of it I love how it's flat and slim and fits right inside the shelf this is a dairy container I used for all of the dairy items that usually are just scattered around the drawers and on shelves, just wherever they land, but this keeps them all in one place. Again, this is what I used for the dips. Um, we use hummus and pimento cheese all the time, so it just kind of keeps them where I know where they are. This was super fun, two containers, one for juice and one for cream or half and half. And I use this in my hot tea and my coffees and I love seeing how much we have so we never run out. This is the deli and produce drawers. I added these little drawer dividers in here. They really are handy and help separate the two sides of the crisper drawers so that you can better see what you have. So for the produce drawer, I added like my tomatoes on one side and then all the green vegetables on the opposite side of the divider. These dividers are so fun and create such a great separation. Over in the deli section, I have the cheeses on the left and all of the meats and bacons on the right. Again, it just kind of keeps things a little more organized than they would be otherwise. This little Lazy Susan is amazing. It spins around and shows me everything on both sides so that nothing in the refrigerator gets lost. I have all of our dairies on here. We've got the yogurts and the uh, whipping cream, of course, which is my favorite to add to any hot chocolate um, or waffles is what we add them to. Now, this is my home chef orders. If you follow me, you know that on the blog, I talk about things to make my meal planning less stressful and home chef meals do that. There's three bags and they fit perfectly right there on the bottom shelf. This is just one more look at all of the drinks. I love how the Gatorades fit in here too. We drink a lot of those um, and I have them right there next to the Cokes and the cream and juice. This is a better look at the overall fridge and after I've added everything back in. So here is a grand tour. We open up the refrigerator now that it is all shiny clean and labeled to death. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. So this is where, you know, I try to keep everything organized. This view is actually after we've had the 
um, labels and organization in place for a few weeks and I just am showing you kind of what ended up going into all of the sections and um, how the labels are holding up we are now out of hummus but the dip is still in place there is the little baking soda in the back the cheeses are still there some of them have been rifled through um, but the lazy susan is still amazing uh, i use it all the time and it keeps everything where it's super convenient to grab my starbucks drinks are still in plain sight and the juice has been refilled the creamer has actually gone through and been refilled the Cokes have been replaced with more Gatorades. The dairy is dwindling down too, but you can still kind of see that it's just really kept everything in place. We are almost out of eggs, but the egg container is holding up and doing its job. The Home Chef meals are still there. I have a second baking soda I was pointing out right there. The I have a new fresh three bags of Home Fresh. The deli drawer is able to pull out the divider still holding up and we've got the cheese on one side and the bacon on the other the produce i've run out of all of the tomatoes but i added carrots and we have lettuce on the on the opposite side of the dividers but you can still see how it really keeps it clean and easy to spot what you're out of when you have it organized like this I was just kind of showing you, I don't really put anything in the bottom crisper. Our dressings are still all there. The sauces are still in order and the pickles are still in order. So all in all, I think this was a win-win for a refrigerator transformation. I hope that you will consider doing yours as well. It really isn't as hard as we make it out to be and it didn't take as long as I thought it would either. So if you like ideas like this, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell so that you'll know when we have a new video.